Hello, it is time for me to share with you the second installment of the Bouquet chapter of Conservatory. This collection is following um, Courtney Cerruti's Flower Market, which is in stores now. Super exciting. I'm already seeing some beautiful things with that fabric. But Natalie's is going to be following, and she also followed the Bouquet inspiration. But for Natalie, who is a Parisian, um, even though she's of German and Chinese descent, she lives a beautiful Parisian lifestyle. And um, this collection is actually inspired by um, kind of the reminiscence of a Renoir painting from the 19th century when Parisians used to take their picnics on the French countryside under shaded trees. So that's the setting and these are the fabrics. Um, again, the collection is called Sunday in the Country. And what should I start with? I'll start with this very sweet um, floral. This one is called Early Morning. And I think the inspiration behind this just sort of reminds me of, you know, a little bouquet of flowers on your bedside table. There's even a little tiny tag on this bouquet here that says for you. Look how sweet that is. Beautiful butterflies. Those stripes in the background almost remind me of mattress ticking. And look at this little vase here that looks like an owl face. So beautiful little details. Um, let me show you the other colorway. There's this pretty blue colorway that really reminds me more of mattress ticking. And I chose to do the stripes in a horizontal across this instead of a more typical vertical stripe, just to be a little bit different, but very, very sweet cut up for applique. Oh my gosh, and look, I forgot to show you the little moon. Look at that, the moon's gone to sleep, so it's early morning now, very sweet. So that's a really pretty spatial print that has lots of floaty space behind it and on a pale background. And look at this pretty textured, I oh, just absolutely love this. It reminds me of wallpaper and aprons and rugs and tiles all in one. Um, this one is actually called Apron and lots of beautiful fun things to cut up in this um, to use at, in whole and then also cut, you can cut these strips almost like little um, ribbons. We've left a little space in there for seam allowance if you'd like to use that whole strip. And then this other colorway just really packs a pretty nice deep punch of saturated color. I love, love, love this one. Again, this one's called Apron. Look at those pretty aqua flowers and the corals, little bits of deep purple as well. So pretty. This is another one. This one is called Picking Roses. Um, it's very, you know, it almost reminds me of something kind of Warhol, the way that those outlines are done. Um, it's very kind of just striking ink and pen. Um, rose drawings and filled in with some color. Also really fun for applique. And here's a really pretty green color. Ah, oh, that forest green is just, it's kind of almost a, one step above a forest green. It's kind of like a jeweled green, just very, maybe emerald. Absolutely love this. Make a really darling dress or pajamas. Okay, so let's look at this other one here. This one is called Petticoat. So we're, we've got the apron, we've got the petticoat. Really pretty, very, very vintage style, this one. This reminds me of um, a very old style French floral. It has a very, very tiny textured dot in the background that makes it more interesting than just solid. Absolutely adore that one. I really like the way that this bright, sort of almost kiwi green, gives the collection a nice punch. I'm using the word punch instead of pop. We all use the word pop. I was trying to think of a new word. It's a punch, but a nice punch. And this is just a darling field of flowers. Absolutely love this. Some of you might remember um, <clears throat> Natalie's collection for H&M &H Fashion Company. Um, my daughter actually has a pair of shorts because <laughs> she did a clothing line for children out of this print. And it's just such a great traditional but colorful style um, field of florals. It's just such a quality print. This one is called Handkerchief. And I think like the really perfect companion to Handkerchief is Crown. <clears throat> Excuse me. How fun is that? So beautiful, very typical painterly, quintessential florals from Natalie, but they're arranged in these beautiful crown circular patterns. 
such pretty pairs between these two. Absolutely love that. So really fun for fussy cutting those crowns out, putting in the center of blocks. So many pretty little striped floral details, dots. Absolutely love that one. And the showstopper, if you ask me, is this incredible panel. It's called Give Me a Kiss. And it features some of the same elements of design from the florals. You can see the crown over here, but much larger. And look at these adorable little kitties. How many cats do we have? We have, I believe, six different kitties holding different bouquets and wearing different colored dresses. How sweet are they? So really fun to cut up and um, use an applique. Um, the quilt for Sunday in the Country is so, so charming. I can't wait for you to see it. Um, in my regular post of this, you'll be able to swipe and see some of the projects, including the quilt. Um, we have little kitty cats inside houses and um, really utilize this um, in a special way for block making. Um, we also have lots of plans to do um, some embroidery. You can take some embroidery floss or some cruel wool and go right over the top of these to stitch out um, a design for pillows. So lots, lots of fun project ideas, um, including those little lovebirds that are giving each other a kiss. So um, that's Sunday in the country. Um, the world is slowing some shipping down a little bit, but this should be arriving in your favorite patchwork shop probably mid to late August. Um, and it's a really beautiful follow-up to um, Courtney's Flower Market. And um, it um, precedes my Triple Take collection, which we will be showing you next in the chapter bouquet. So see you later.